internationally, there are many teams that have had players who represent another country from their birthplace. Like Raheem Sterling with England, even though he was born in Jamaica. And Patrick Vieira representing France when he was born in Senegal. But one nation that isn't talked about nearly as much as it should is Suriname. Over all time, like on covering in this video, Suriname have had the worst luck with representing talent that could have played for them. Like with the players I mentioned in this video. But the reason for so many difficult... Difficult? Different players opting to not play for them is because it was colonised by the Dutch. When they have a more in-depth team. But no one talks about the fact that Suriname is either the birthplace for some of these players. Or where their parents slash grandparents emigrated from. Anyway, I think it's time to actually, you know, get started with one of the bigger names of the sport in the, of all time. Rude Hillip, or by his birth name, Rudy Dill. He may have been born in the Netherlands, but his father George was born in Suriname and emigrated with the next person on the list, who uh, made an unstoppable line in history. Next up is Frank Reichard. The man is literally just alluded to, but still, I don't care. Either or, like I explained, his father Herman emigrated with George Hullet, but the only reason uh, they were emigrating in the first place was because Herman Reichard was signing for a Dutch team called FC Blauwit, blue and white in English, and the two were good mates in Suriname, and the combo made hearts across the globe to connect with football for the two to be immortalised by EA Sports making their ultimate team cards overpowered. Anyways, next up is Edgar Davids, who was one of the most respected players of all time, despite playing for Tottenham, although I'd mark that as a charity work for him. Still, he played with glaucoma, which is a rare eye disease, meaning he had to play with goggles on his whole career. Either or, he was also a legend in the Dutch national team and he even played for Crystal Palace, so he is immortalised for me anyway. He is the first inclusion of someone who was born in Suriname in the capital, Paramibo. Next up is a former most expensive uh, defender of all time, Virgil van Dijk, because his mum was born in Suriname and emigrated to Breda in the Netherlands. His mother's father was originally from China and emigrated to Suriname because of uh, the slavery that was going on over there, which therefore means that Virgil can play for three nations at minimum. Anyway, on to Champions League winner with uh, alongside Virgil is Jeannie Wijnaldum, and both of his parents are sen uh, Surinamese. I nearly said Senegalese there. Uh, <laughs> And out of all of these players so far, the one who has been more loving for Suriname outwardly is Genie. As when he won the Champions League, he wore Suriname flags on his boots. He runs football programs in Suriname and flew the UCL trophy to Suriname to celebrate with the people of the nation. The Dutch national team can also play with a false uh, Surinamese backline because of both Windau and, or Windau, I actually still don't know how to pronounce it, and Dumfries, uh, are both of them are Surinamese heritage. Two, uh, Clarence Seedorf is one of the most lethal midfielders of all time. He was born in Paramibo and emigrated from a young age to the Netherlands, and bit off topic, but Sean, 100% sure that the man used to play for Arsenal and just saying I don't take that as a diss so every time he says it I just say yep he's part of that team that won the Champions League versus Barca in the final here we have actually here we actually have three legends of a family included with Rijkaard well not like Rijkaard at the beginning but longer because the Kluivert family in football started with Kenneth Clivert 
who was born in Suriname and later moved to Amsterdam where he had Patrick Kluivert. He had one of the best careers of all time and now everyone is paying close attention to the new generation of the family, Justin, who is currently playing for Nice on loan from Roma. And he had chosen to represent the Netherlands like his father and we all want to see him do well. Uh, who else? Oh yeah, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. That's a bit sad, getting that said about you from me. I mean, he was a good footballer as well. He was just like a David and Cedar, as in born in Suriname in Paramibo, living out of a spectacular kid, uh, spect spectacular career. There we go, got it. And you may think that France are the one that are the only ones stealing all their talent, but no, the Dutch have been doing it under our noses this whole time. Right. That will be the end. Hope you enjoyed this video. And matatode.